Hey everyone, I'm here again with another video for y'all, with another reading. Um, welcome to my channel. If you are new, I'm Dinesha. And uh, welcome back if you've been around. It's always good to have y'all back. I hope everybody is doing great. So this reading is going to be a little message from your future spouse slash partner. Um, so we're going to see what they have to say to you at this time. Maybe they want to tell you what's going on or, you know, give you some words of encouragement, anything like that. We'll just see uh, what's what will come through. This is requested. Um, so thank you to the person who donated to my channel and requested this uh, reading, okay? So let's get into the group selection. I'm going to use the Chakra Wisdom Oracle cards to, you know, help you guys select your group. It may play a role in the reading. I'll try to include it. But, you know, make sure you select the card based on um, which one you've been the most drawn to. Okay, so group one is going to be service. This is the sacral chakra, too. Group two is confusion. Hmm. Give me a call for group three. Uh, group three is expansion. It's the throat. I believe this falls under the crown in this particular deck. I'm not sure. Um, this would be, because I think the purple one is would be the third eye, like the one in that particular deck. I'm not sure. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. But yeah, so um, we'll just say this one is pertaining to the crown, okay? So a uh, group one service. The sacral chakra group two confusion with the crown and group three is expansion with the throat. Okay. Uh, let me make sure they straight so when I do a thumbnail, it looks all right. Okay, I think that's good. <laughs> so um you can pick more than one group if you would like to. That is completely up to you. Okay. Um, you know, maybe you're person has uh, multiple messages for you, okay? Especially if you feel drawn to more than one group. I do want you guys to keep in mind this will be a general reading, so not everything will resonate with every single person out there because it is, you know, for a collective. So just, you know, take whatever feels right for you specifically and uh, lead them other messages to other people. Of course, you know, you don't have to accept none of these messages. You can, in fact, reject them, okay? And with that being said... Let's begin with group number one, okay? Get this. Uh, I think I'll put these here just so I'm not confused about which group is next. All right. So welcome to everybody who selected group number one. You guys picked service, okay? And that is the sacral chakra. Um, so that can be like of relevance to you. Mm. So I'm seeing here a message coming through here with service card is, you know, um, your future spouse slash partner, you know, they will be of service to you. You know, they feel like their, you know, thing to do is to serve you in this life is to, you know, create a beautiful life for the both of you. So right now, you know, they may be, you know, working towards their stability and stuff like that so they can give you the life that you deserve and um, whether or not you are you know a person who's you know working on your own stability whatever the case may be but they, they they're just saying you know they want to be of service for uh, to you so they're working on their stability to give you all the beautiful things in life okay and whether they at that point are not you know um they are still aiming for more and, and, and more, okay? Just more, more, and more. Okay, because they want, again, they want to create that beautiful life um, for you and with you. They want to create a beautiful life with you, us together. It, through sickness and health, and in health, that's what I'm hearing here. Till death do us part. 
I will be of service to you. Okay. So let's let's go ahead and begin, okay? I'm hearing a message. I'm spying on you. I'm not sure why I'm hearing that message. I'm spying on your soul. I'm seeing a couple dancing like in a ballroom. Like they're dancing. Dancing in like a... Like they're dressed, like I guess you would say formal dressed, and they're dancing together. So maybe that is relevant to some of y'all. I'm hearing I can't wait to get you alone or to be alone with you. I'm hearing none of that matters. So, um, I don't know if you've been thinking about something and your future spouse slash partner is saying none of that actually matters. Okay? What, what matters is us. Hmm. Interesting. The angels are guiding us. That's something else that I'm hearing. I'm hearing smoke and mirrors. I actually want to move that aside because I almost forgot the other uh, messages here. I want some uh, written messages. Now, okay, so two of these want to come out now. Uh, you know, when I was making some of these, they got some errors in some of these cards, so they might be some grammatical errors. Or some misspelling in, in some of these, okay? But you just know they they homemade, they authentic. <laughs> That'll just let you know that they are. Right. I'm not sure if I want to pull another one. Okay, so you guys got a few extra. I just wanted to pull two, but I guess it's different for y'all. Um, Yeah, so we go. Almost forgot about these. <laughs> so let's see. We have a number 51 healer of ages. You can take into account in the numbers you may see. Receptivity. Deception. Uh, someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Don't worry about the message on there because I'm getting a totally different message. Okay. We have carrot opportunity or windfall. We have sometimes you just have to believe even if it seems too good to be true. Page of wands or page of fire. We both should take time to heal our wounds. Interesting. As he said, have a healer of the ages. Love doesn't have a price, but I paid to make you mine. <laughs> Funny, 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 funny. I have a gift for you. Without who's telling my baby these lies, I would never, uh, I would never don't listen to them. See, I'm feeling like that goes with the, none of that uh, matters. What matters is us. So if you're hearing uh, things and so uh, are things about real love or. Uh, there's no chance in you finding love. Your future spouse slash partner is telling you don't listen to those lies or just lies about yourself or lies about 
ways that you know your future spouse might treat you he wants you to know that or she wants you to know that um and then oh wow money didn't i just tell you that that this person wanted to like be of service for you working on a stability and wealthy man i can't make this up you see what i'm saying about how intuitive messages connect all right so it can also be a wealthy woman okay as well so if you're not into men you can um uh, Mask it as a woman, okay? That's just with the cards. Uh, that's how the cards are. The people who make the cards, okay? So, um, didn't I say something about spiritually watching you or like uh, something uh, along those lines? I don't forgot what I said. I can't remember the words that I said. You you probably remember. You can go back and, and listen. But yeah, um, spiritually watching you spying on you yeah so they can be spying on you spiritually or somebody can like literally be be spying on you if you resonate with that message um maybe your future spouse is hidden in the shadows especially if maybe you have an idea about who who they are or maybe you think it's a particular person that can be what's coming through here so for some of y'all here i'm getting here that you know um or you know for everybody who selected this group but just take whatever resonates with you they want you to uh, take time to heal any wounds. You know, they want you to, to be healing that. Now, when you guys come together, you will heal together, but they just want you to be taking time to heal any wounds or what's going on inside of you, any trauma that you're dealing with from past relationships or just trauma outside of, like, romantic relationships. Just in general, you may have some trauma or, like, some things in general that you deal with life, they want you to take some time to heal that because they can feel your energy, your future spouse is saying. So they like, I want my baby to be all right. I want my baby to be healed. You know what I mean? I want my baby to feel good. So that's what I'm hearing. So they want you to take some time to heal those wounds. I'm hearing something about those beautiful wounds because no matter what you've been through, um, it has made you strong. It makes you beautiful. It makes you powerful. You can you get strength from um, what happened to you. And I know it's generic to say this, but I mean, what uh, doesn't kill you, you make you stronger. Even though that's a common saying, and again, generic. But that is there's truth to that, and they want you to know that. Okay. So we do have the Queen of Cups here, which is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So there can be some energy here where Cups is uh, and water is healing. So yeah, a lot of you need to, you know, take some time to heal yourself and like continue to nurture those wounds. You know, continue to like, you know how when you got a, a, a like a cut or something like that, and you got to put some uh, Neosporin on it. I think that's how you say that. I'm sorry. if so, Y'all know what Neosporin is? Or like you got to put some uh, peroxide, whatever it, whatever the um, medical stuff you, you rub on the wound. Um, and tend to it, nurture it. And let it heal. Let it get the scab. Don't pick at the scab. When that scab starts to come, don't pick at it. Let it uh fall off on his own don't try to pick at it so i feel like when you pick at a scab you know you're you're delaying the healing process right i mean that is what you're doing i mean even if i'm saying i feel like it but that is what you're doing so instead of fighting up against the healing process or being angry about what you've been through or your wounds your future spouse is saying like let it heal like accept what happened basically accept it and let the, that wound heal, let the scab fall off. <laughs> Does that make any sense, y'all? That's basically what your uh, future spouse is saying, okay? And again, you know, they want to be of service uh, for you. They want to, like, your future spouse can be very wealthy or just stable, like, really stable. I told you they're working on this security. This can be, like, a, a person that is, you know, makes above... Um, the average person, you know, they might be in a uh, small percentage. Not a lot of people make that kind of money now. So they can be in a, that small percentage of the people that do make that money. Now, it's a, um, it may be a lot of people watching this reading. And so, again, they can be either they're stable or right there at that. You know, they still make above average. So that can still give you a good life. You know, y'all a good life. So that's what's coming through. Like, I want to give you 
I want to look, I love doesn't have a price, but I pay to make you mine. So again, they may be, uh, got, got some money. Okay. So they want to, they saying, I want to take care of you. I'm working on my stability. I'm working on my money because I want to be this for you. Now they also want you to know, sometimes you just have to believe, even if it seems too good to be true. So maybe some of these messages are just in general, what you feel about your future spouse seems too good to be true. And maybe you feel like there is some deception here. But again, see deception, baby. Who's uh, baby? Who's telling my baby these lies? I would never. Don't listen to them. Maybe you, um, you're getting deceptive messages about your future spouse, and they're like, "I'm not gonna hurt you." Or you think that you're gonna be hurt? Or people, it's it's like this doom and gloom energy. Like it don't matter. It's like all men are bad, or, or all women are the same and are bad. And so, in or because you see, like how certain things are going on. In, in other people's lives, so you like, maybe that's just how it is. Like, maybe I'ma just have to be alone because, you know, what if this person comes in and do just that to me? And they're like, this is deception. That's a lie. I'm not gonna be like that to you. Like, you're believing in deception. Now, um, it's okay to be realistic, your future spouse is saying. Like, you can look at stuff like it, something could possibly go wrong, but they like, that's not gonna happen for us, you know? But if you believe that, um, you kind of like making that your reality. You kind of pushing my soul further and further, further and further away from you. And I don't want us to be further, further away from each other. I want us to be closer to each other because I have a gift for you. So they might have the love language of like gift giving, like buying you things like that. Might maybe you want this type of lifestyle, or whatever. So they want to give you this type of lifestyle. That's what I'm. Well, that's what's coming through here. So they want you to be receptive of this and be receptive of their messages that's coming through here. Like they see your future spouse is is growing a garden for you guys, for y'all life with carrot coming through here. They want to give you an opportunity to live a dream life. And so they're going to bring windfall into your life. Okay. Again, they're going to be of service. All right. And then we have the page of fire here, all right? So creativity is strong here. So something here about creativity, because that's what the sacred chakra energy is here with creativity. So they want you to know that do the things that you love in this lifetime, okay? Do the things that you love, and they're going to be there to support any dreams, any passions that you have. Um, they're going to be right there on the side of you, giving you um, the support that you need, Okay? Because remember now, you know, love doesn't have a price, but I pay to make you mine. <laughs> because that's how badly they want you. All right? Yeah, news. this person might bring opportunities into your life. Because, I mean, page of wands can be uh, news of it, opportunities. Okay? And then you have opportunity and windfall. So they're going to uh, come in and give you some opportunities. Maybe some opportunities to do your own thing. Um, an opportunity to live comfort comfortably, an opportunity not to be stressed out about uh, things outside of the things that you love to do. That's something that was coming through here, okay? Uh, give me a second, y'all. I'm just trying to see something here. Yeah, so that's, again, like, that's creating and like the Queen of Cups, again, water is creation. The Queen of Cups is quite creative herself, okay? You know, I feel like they want want you to rest and relax as well. Um, like, it's like they don't want you to be stressed. You know, there's this energy of nurturing. Like, they want to nurture and take care of you with the Queen of Cups here and with that energy coming through here. Um, you inspire them to continue to move forward in their life. Like, I got to make sure my baby got what she needs or he needs. So, I'm going to keep moving forward. Okay? This can also be with a sacral chakra, satisfaction in a romantic relationship. So they're going to want to make sure you're satisfied, okay? So they may be a gift giver. That can be their love language, giving you gifts, um, making providing that stability for you. They can have, like, strong provider energy. Um, they probably want to be the person of the house. I don't want to say man of the house because I know some of y'all watching for a woman. Um, 
they want you to feel good to be able to express your emotions and you can do that and they'll be receptive of of like your emotions and things like this now you're gonna do your part as well but since this is a message from them that's why i'm talking like this okay like it's not like you ain't gonna have nothing to do you're gonna do your part as well but that's what's coming through here now you know um they maybe for some of you they do something that's created to that's created to, that's connected to artistic creativity or maybe you do because i'm seeing that here strong again with the sacral chakra page of wands um, they are also doing what they love. They want you to know I am doing what I love. I am in my own passion. So I want you to be in yours or do something that you enjoy doing. Because again, I, um, you guys can make, uh, if you guys want to like uh, have your own money, that's fine. But they was like, you know, um, they're saying that, you know, I'll support you regardless if you're doing something like a passion or whatever. And that's just something you want to do you know, on the side, but I want to provide you a beautiful life. You, you can see that here on the board, okay? You can see that here with the wealthy man. You can see, you see that there with the service when, that was coming out for me, uh, coming out for me, like when I was in, um, that was coming into my mind's eye, okay, when I was channeling that and the money. So, you know, some, this is something that you won't have to worry about. And then you have, you know, love doesn't have a price. I pay to make you mine, yeah. I'm sorry if I'm kind of like talking like gibberish a little bit. I'm trying to like find the words and put them together. I always have trouble doing that or like that happens a lot on our channel. So I apologize about that. Yeah, so this person wants to invite joy into your life. Only joy and excitement. You know, I'm going to bring you joy and excitement in your life is, is, is what's being said here. Okay, all is well in my world. You know, all is going well for him. He's he or she is working towards their dream, okay? Mm -hmm. And this is, like, also unconditional love. So that's a cute little message. And you can do your own interpretation of this if you would like to. Like, maybe, you know, certain... There's a, something else coming through here for you. But that's what I'm getting here. All right. So let me get some numbers and stuff. Well, I don't want to pull no numbers, Okay. But for some reason, I haven't been feeling called to pull no numbers, like, so, I don't know. Because I said numbers, should I pull a number, Spirit? Okay, so they saying just pull a number eight, so that can be significant there. If this loud, I apologize about that, but I do want to give this, this box another shake. Okay, so the number one is coming out. I guess they want the numbers out. <laughs> okay. And the number five. Spirit has other plans, okay? I think that's all I'm gonna pull out, okay? So yeah, this can be significant number one, eight, five, and any, in any way, okay? Maybe the number 15, 18, that can be like dates. Or like life pattern numbers here, 185. Um, the fifth house can be significant, which a passion. Uh, maybe some of you will have children. Uh, living a dream life for some of y'all. Um, a whirlwind romance. You know, this person is going to fall. Like basically, you're going to fall head over heels with this person. Um, creativity as well. Eight here. It could be the eighth house. Okay. Um, maybe that's significant in your chart or like something with Scorpio, it could be in your chart as well. But, you know, sometimes, you know, with it, that can mean like gaining through another person. So you may gain a lot through your future spouse, which, you know, makes sense. And the number one could be leadership, first house. Um, hmm. you can look into that, like look into the first, eighth and fifth house for extra information. Also look more into the sacral chakra for more information. That is your um that is your homework, okay? I like to give y'all some homeworks here and there, okay? I'm not gonna try to like spell too much out. If you wanna spell some stuff, you can. If you would like to, that's up to you. Okay, but I'm not gonna do too much spelling. I might spell some stuff, but I'm gonna try not to spend too much time on on this because I don't want this video to be too long. 
Yeah, so it could be like some of you are hearing lies. Something about a lie or you feel like this is a lie or something like that. Like, don't think that car. You know, for some of you, maybe they'll gift you with a car or maybe with your dream car. Or this could mean they're on their way towards you. Like, I'm on route. Like, they're on route. On route. Route. <laughs> they're on, like, I'm seeing, now I'm seeing, like, the GPS thing. So, they making their way towards you. Again, man, maybe they will get you a car or something. You have, maybe you have a specific car you want and it's... This person might get get that for you, given the information that came out, okay? Race. It's not a race, okay? It's not a race. We're going to get to each other when we get to each other. We have ace, okay? So this can be like an ace of wands, cups, pentacles, swords. Like ace, I mean, aces is number one. So another number one. Leadership. You know, they can have the energy of leadership, wanting to lead the household or like, you know, lead y'all love or be a lead, like be the provider. We have try. You know, if, first, if at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. That's something. They, they don't want you to give up. They, and they also have the energy of not giving up, which is why they're going to be able to, to give you the things that you desire. Not as like, not as though like materialistic things like matter to you or that's the only thing they're going to do. Like they're not going to give you no love. We obviously see that. We just saying like maybe... Um, they want you to know this because maybe this is how you feel about things. You know, I don't know. That's something that's coming through here, which is why maybe this came through for your message. We have go. Ready, set, go. Like, they're ready, they're set, go. We have rock. Like, you'll be my rock. You rock my world. Grace. This can be, like, also maybe some initials, names coming through here. Grace. I know some people's name could be Grace or uh, some giving Grace. Give, they will give you Grace. Hmm. OC. That can be significant. Um, it's making me think about this, that show I used to watch, like the OC. Maybe, like, something to do with, like, Orange County. I think that's in California, right? Yeah, I think that is. Maybe California is significant. Uh, not necessarily the OC. Garden. I'm kind of, like, hearing garden or, like, getting that a little bit intuitively. CIA, yeah, like, something about spying. Maybe somebody hmm, worked for the CIA or something. I don't know. Um... Maybe there also can be someone here works in tech. That's something that I'm getting here. Um, if that's a confirmation or I'm also seeing um, engineer as well. Somebody can be an engineer here. I'm also seeing like something about the tiger. Also homework. Make sure you guys are taking this information in or like writing it down. Like something here specifically about the tiger spirit. So take that in and that's also a part of your homework. Okay. I'm hearing Feliz Navidad. Now, now, for the Spanish speaker, I'm sorry if I ain't say that right. <laughs> Some of y'all probably laughing at me. So maybe by the next Christmas, um, you'll, um, like, been a Methodist person. Or, like, again, Christmas, oh, around Christmas, you give gifts, right? So, again, I have a gift for you. So, yeah, it's very, like, he's very, or she is very particular about this gift message and about, like, giving you things. Um, yeah, but that's all I have for everyone who selected group number one. You guys can try to spell whatever it is that you would like to spell. If you, you know, that's up to you. Um, give it a pause. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did, in fact, enjoy the reading. That would be very much appreciated. Of course, you know, if this group did not resonate with you, you know, you can always pick a different group. Or if you want to hear another message, that's fine. If you'd like a private reading from me, my email is in the description. And until next time, beautiful people, bye-bye. Hopefully you do come back for another one.
Hello and welcome to everybody who selected group two. You guys picked uh, Confusion. I believe this is in this particular deck is connected to the crown chakra. Okay. Um, so uh, maybe what's going on here is that your future spouse is one of you to know there's no need to be confused. Nothing is delayed. Um, or maybe you're confused right now and they want you to know they have your back here. Um, they're around you spiritually as well. They're... Um, so their higher self, their soul is around you. Like when you, when you are in the, when you are in confusion or when you're sad or whatever, they're like, I'm right there with you. I can sense that, you know, cause we have this deep connection. Okay. So if you're confused about anything, um, are you confused about our union? Don't be because nothing here is, um, I'm hearing like nothing here is delayed or you feel like something is delayed, but everything is happening at the perfect time and it will happen at the perfect time and so um don't feel as though like they're not coming or they're not you know um they don't care about the union as much as you do like you're in this alone and they're like you're not alone that's something your future spouse wants you to know future partner you know you guys are connected at the crown all right and they're saying, like, their higher self is saying, like, they, they are receiving, like, a lot of downloads about you. So, you know, they can be saying a whole bunch of signs about you as well. That's what's being said. No, they're saying, no, I'm I, I'm not. It's not they can be. It's like, I am seeing signs about them as well. Like, so you're not alone in receiving, you know, divine signs. And it's coming through as divine signs. Okay. This person is saying, like, your future spouse or partner is saying, like, these messages are like music to my ear. Every time I get a message in regard to our reunion, it relaxes me. You know, anytime I'm confused about anything that has to do with this union, I immediately get a message and then I feel fine. So, you know, that's a good thing. So, it, it, your future spouse partner wants you to relax and be okay and, and let you know that everything is gonna be okay like you know mm, i keep forgetting to get those messages i, I did this the last one because i, I want to put the messages on, on the back of this one like after this one because they on the floor right here so it's only right if i pull four because that happened for the last group like i was one of the only pull um Too, but um, spirit has other plans, okay? It's a message from future spouse. Now, <laughs> if I ain't got any order, it's gonna bother me. Watch y'all end up doing this again for the next group. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm not there for you right now, but you can guarantee when I make my way to you, I will be there. I'm going to be there 100% when, when, when we're together physically. However, remember, we're together mentally. That's what your future spouse slash partner is saying. And we're together spiritually. We have, uh, let's get into it. We have number 19, rest and rejuvenation. You can take into account any numbers you may see. We have number 8, letting go. What well, is the 8 of cups? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. So, yeah, this is your soulmate, you know, your divine love. Absolutely, we have spiritual love, of course. Seven of Swords. If you keep this up, I'll make my move love the way you tease me. So this is what uh, true love feels like. Don't ever want this feeling to go away. Let me make you a very special dinner. Wanting to feed your soul something delicious. Eat it up, baby. So we got, we got a lot of soul coming through here. Building myself up right now. Trying to make a better future for us. I can't do that if I'm not stable. So we want the uh, future spouses slash partners want to be stable. We have thoughts. And we have family room. Okay.
they saying, you, you know, your future partner says, spouse is saying, let it go. Like, rest up, rest your mind. Um, don't let your thoughts take control or, you know, in general, like, if you're, if, if you've been overworking yourself, they want you to rest because they can feel that, okay? If you've been, like, overworking your mind about this connection, about this union, about trying to get everything figured out, they want you to rest because you're just going to confuse yourself even more, okay? They're saying the reason, uh, one of the reasons why, you know, spirit hasn't brought y'all into union yet is because they're trying to be stable. Now, group one had a similar message. There is no connection, really, but, you know, um... You know, your your future spouse slash partner wants to be stable coming and, and, and so that you know they can be in a good position when they come into your life, okay? Because you know, they, they're saying they want a family with you. You know, they want to be able to, you know, to have a beautiful home and, 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 and you know, be able to provide for their family. They're saying like we're gonna have kids. So if you resonate with that kid's message, then take it. If not, you don't have to take it, but you know, they, they want to make sure they give their, their life to their kids or to both of you that they didn't have growing up. So, you know, uh, they want to give you a life that you, for some of y'all, that y'all didn't have growing up, okay? So, but you're going to have that life in adulthood. You're going to have that life in marriage in this, in this relationship. Because this is spiritual love. Now, a lily, the flower of lily can be significant. So your homework is to look into the lily and get like the meaning behind a lily. Okay. Um, I like to give homework here and there. So make sure you're taking this down or you can come back and like look and then look stuff up. Because there can be additional messages within that. They're saying they're leaving behind everything in order to come towards you. Like I'm leaving all of the negativity behind. I'm leaving the lies behind. I'm leaving, you know, um, I'm leaving constraints. Constraints. Um, I'm releasing that mindset that I'm stuck. So they want you to release that mindset. They want you to let go of things that do not serve you because it's not going to be, you know, good for y'all union. That's what they're saying, okay? Also, there's a message coming through here. It's like, you need to keep an open mind. Don't try to figure out who I am because I may be different from what you expecting or um, your usual type. But regardless, you're going to marry this person. So, you of course, you're going to you're gonna accept them and, and love them for, you know, whatever they, it is they look like physically and whatever the case may be. They're keeping an open mind when it comes to you, you know. So, keep an open mind because you two, maybe, maybe there is a message coming through here. You know, you two may be a bit different from each other. Or, again, it's something here different um, than what you're expecting. Like, they may not look how you're expecting them to look or just may not look exactly how you're expecting. Let it go. Or maybe it's not the specific person that you think it is. Um, but not to bust anybody bubble or to make you feel bad if you want to be a specific person. That's just another message coming through here. Okay? <laughs> I'm hearing they're going to cook you a good meal because we have lit. Let me make you a very special dinner and wanted to feed your soul something delicious. Eat up, baby. So they want to feed your soul something delicious. And not just like food-wise, just in general. They want to give their soul to you, which is going to feed your soul and vice versa. Your soul will feed their soul. And I feel like, you know, um, they're saying when you guys come to a union, they're going to put you at rest. I don't know. It's just not literally, but some, or you will be put at rest when we come into union. I'm sensing this cozy type of energy here with the family room. This is like closeness. Like I feel close to you. I want to be close with you. Um, we will be close and we will have our own little thing we do together. That's something that's coming through here. <laughs> if you're your spouse slash partner saying they're going to love um, when you tease them. So <laughs> make sure you know you tease me here and there. Okay. They like to be teased. Um, so they're saying, I'm going to snatch you up. Okay, that might be a little 18 and plus message coming to me. I'm going to eat you up. I'm going to snatch you up. But yeah, they're, they're saying you are my true love. Don't you ever want, I don't ever want this feeling to go. Like, I don't want this feeling to leave me because you are my true love. You are my spiritual love. You are my soulmate. You are my divine counterpart. Okay. I'm letting go a lot only to, to, to be able to get to you. I'm letting go a lot so that I don't have to let you go. 
if that makes sense there. Mm -hmm. You know, there's times in their life here, the Seven of Swords, um, they lost a lot of freedom. They didn't have the freedom. Like, they was constrained. Like, they had constraints. Or they was tied to stuff, and whether it be connections, experiences, or the past, whatever the case may be. And so, they're releasing that. They have, they're like, I'm working towards my personal freedom. And they want you to do the same. Now, they're saying they have a lot of secrets and a lot of things they want to let you know. And they're saying, I'm not going to keep no secrets from you. So I'm going to tell you everything that I've done in my past that I'm not proud of and everything that I've done that I am proud of. You're going to get the all. I'm not going to I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to give you the truth right up front, straight up, like right off the bat. Like, you know, you're going to get the truth. OK. And it's interesting because I forgot to pull one of these for y'all group. You know. So let me pull one of them now. Okay. <laughs> of course, I can't never like do everything, <laughs> do stuff right. Of course, I messed up for one group, but that's okay. Maybe that was meant to be. We have you are a star seed, star child. That's why you feel and always felt, you know, different. There are others like you. So both of you are star seeds. So th this is a divine union. This is spiritual love. So. Spirit is definitely bringing you two together, and it's a purpose behind this. They're saying we're purpose to be together. So when you you was feeling different in life, they was feeling different in life as well. So it's like you guys mirrored that energy. Um, like I'm, I'm it's, it's, it was the exact same for me, even though our life was different. It was the exact same, but in a different way, is what they're saying here. Like right? at some points, I was confused as well. And I didn't know who I was, but I found out who I was. And, and it caused a lot of growth. And, you know, it caused me to, like, really work towards my life purpose and my life, or should I say my life purposes, because I have multiple purposes. That's what they're saying. Which, you know, you do have multiple purposes, but that's what's coming through here. You know, some of you guys, you tend to get stuck in your head a lot or you get tend to get stuck in the clouds or become, like, delirious about some stuff. And they're like, you know, let that go. I'm hearing that. Let that go. It's a lot about letting go. Letting go of a certain mindset and everything like that is what's coming through here. But you are a child of the stars. We're both are ch uh, children of the stars, Okay. And we're in this life, we're going to fulfill a purpose together. Okay, so let's get some. Uh, I was just going to pull letters, but numbers came out of group one. So, yeah, a few numbers and letters. And uh, this is going to be loud. So. And also, not only just for stability, they're building their spirit up as well. Like, they're building themselves up for the union. Because, you know, you know, I know it'd be, like, generic to say this, or this is something that people say a lot, but they're, ultimately, they are becoming their best self for this union. I, I want you to see me at my best. I mean, you will get me at my worst. And we both will have each other at our worst. But I'm talking about, like, soul-wise. You're going to get the best version of me. Because you deserve the best. Is what they're saying here. So you got fours and uh, you got a four. I'm not sure why I'm saying fours. Like, multiple. So maybe you've been seeing a lot of fours. And that's confirmation. But this can be, like, dates. A light pad numbers could be like the 23rd here, the 24th. Okay. Months as well. The fourth house, which can be home. Yeah. You'll feel at home with me, comfortable with me. The third house can be significant. The second house. So look into these houses. There may be some messages within that. So we got a blank here. I'm hearing I will risk it all for you. Um, that's what I'm hearing. I will risk it all. I would give my life for yours. 
So this, so your future spouse is saying they will sacrifice, make a lot of sacrifices for y'all's union. Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing hurt people hurt people. So maybe they're just saying like, you've been hurt in life because hurt people hurt people. Them people was hurt, you know? Now, you can try to spell whatever you would like to if you see some stuff, but I'm not going to be, like, trying to spell too much out here. I might spell some stuff, but more so intuitive. We have B, so maybe B is important. Look into B. The B, uh, excuse me, the spiritual meaning of B. Peep. It's something about like peeping or like wanting to be teased. Like, you know, <laughs> they want you to tease them. They want you to like, I don't know, they don't like when you wear like little sexy stuff or like when they watching TV or doing whatever they doing. You know, you walk past and something, or you walk past, you know, wearing nothing or whatever, <laughs> but they, they gonna like that kind of stuff or like when you tease them. Or like when you when they work and you come behind them, you know this can be a man or a woman. You come behind them and start kissing on them on their neck. They gonna like to be kissed on their neck and stuff. That's like their weakness. They're saying. I'm hearing. I'm highly educated. I guess that's something they want you to know. Something here about, like, this can be Brie. That can be a name, Brie. Um, or Bria could be a name. Maybe that's your name. Maybe that's his person's name. George. I'm hearing something about, like, George. Um, I'm hearing something about, like, Italy or something like that. Or somebody could be Italian. That's something that's coming through here. That's what spirit is flashing in front of my mind's eye. So you may or may not resonate with that, but that's a lot of random stuff be coming out. Every day of my life, I'm going to be there for you. Oh. We're going to make memories or I'm going to remember you. I'm hearing something. Oh, I remember. I keep hearing I remember. So it could be like a past life connection here. Like I remember our life in the past. If you guys hear in the background noise, I apologize about that, okay? But can't control that. Okay? I'm hearing something about like Brazil. So maybe somebody can be from there. Okay, so that's all that's coming through here for y'all group. Um, you guys can try to, you know, you can interpret these cards. They may have a different meaning for you. That's my interpretation. You always welcome to do that. You can try to find some words, give it a pause or, you know, anything like that you can do. Like maybe your name, your initials, maybe it's about a specific person. Do whatever it is that you can do. Regardless, you selected this group, so that is your message if it resonates, okay? But that's, again, that's all I have for everyone who selected group two. Thank you guys for watching. If you would like a private reading for me, my email is down in the description, okay? Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did, in fact, enjoy the reading. If you want to pick a different group because this one didn't resonate, that's fine, too. Or you want to hear another message, that's cool, too, okay? And until next time, beautiful people, bye-bye. Hopefully, you come back for another one. All right, um, let me see here. 
<sighs> I'm not even, I ain't even start the group yet. <laughs> I'm talking about something all right. Um, so, hello. Some of y'all who be watching the in between, um, if you if you like watching me head into another group, y'all probably laughing. <laughs> but I had to go tell this person to be quiet because they were gonna come in there singing. Um, hello and welcome to everybody who selected group three. Thank you guys for watching. Um, well, thank you guys for tuning into the uh, video. Okay. So um, I'm not wa sure why I'm thanking y'all. So maybe y'all. Your future spouse wants to thank you. Or maybe it's because I just got like, <laughs> I'm kind of like a little, um, what words am I looking for? I'm, I'm kind of like a little, not annoyed, but I had to like keep somebody from like coming in here singing or <laughs> before they end up in a video. But yeah, um, maybe they do want to thank you since like, maybe they want to thank you for um, everything that you do. Yeah, if that makes sense. But you guys pick expansion, okay? So this is the uh, throat chakra. Um, so maybe, you know, your future spouse slash partner is saying they went through a lot of expansion in life. Um, they're expanding. This union is for expansion. Um, we see Mother Earth here. Okay, this, this union is to make the Earth better. So it's a special union, okay? And yeah, again, I was saying like, I'm thanking y'all, I was thanking y'all. So that's just random. Like, so, um, they wanna thank you for everything that you do on this earth. You know, the light that you give to the earth. You give light to the earth is what your future spouse slash partner is saying. You give light. Or oh, this union will give light or make the earth brighter. So it's a reason y'all coming together. Um, the divine council is responsible for this. Like y'all was in front of the council. It's something about I'm seeing two people in front of a council, a spiritual council. Okay, and there is a spiritual council. So, um, this union is very much important. So you guys may do something big together. Let's get into um, picking up, get, get your cards. Again, that's the throat chakra. So there may be a lot of telepathic communication as well that's coming through. It's something here. They're saying like it, this is written in our contract. This is written in our contract. This is in the contract. This is written in our contract. So they're saying like, they're putting it to me like this. Because divine counsel came through him, spiritual counsel, they're saying we have our two separate con uh, contracts. They have the contracts of our own separate life, but then we have a, one, another contract for in our union. Like there's a whole separate contract. So you have your contract, they have their contract, and there's another contract for y'all union. Not everybody has that. So, again, that sh shows the significance and the importance of this union. So, this is written and signed. So, regardless of anything, this union going to happen anyways. That's what your future spouse is saying. Okay, the union is going to happen regardless of any circumstances or anything like that or whatever position you are in life. The union is going to happen regardless. Because it's for a specific reason. See, even the... um. The Ascendant Masters are making them, showing themselves to me. So, again, the Ascendant Masters are confirming this. Are confirming what your future spouse is saying. Like, the Ascendant Masters are confirming this. 
And something here about ascension as well. Like ascension, you're ascending. You know, they're like, we're ascending. We can only ascend together. We can only ascend together. You're not responsible for nobody else's life but yours. So stop giving to people so much. If they can't give nothing to you, don't give nothing to them. So your future spouse wants you to know that. Let's see what's coming through here. We have the number 30. Didn't I just say about the ascended masters and it's, it's the master number 33? Door to romance. We have a uh, moment to moment. It's the two of pentacles. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So both of you are being guided to each other. We have boot. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Yeah, taking steps. You can see this person here taking steps. Great love is worth uh, taking the steps you're guided to take. And then you have the boots, which I mean, which is like, you know, you put your foot in it to take steps. We have self-pleasure, pleasing oneself. Okay, I'll, I'll get to it in a minute. We have the king of uh, pentacles are um, earth. We have, I feel hopeless without you. Oh. They could never be you, not in a million years. We connect a lot through music. Are you listening, baby? I kid you not. You know, with the throat chakras, a lot of sound messages. Okay. Or like messages coming through like voices. Come here, baby. Let me make you feel good. We have servant. We have community. Interesting. Okay, so I'm hearing here with servant come through, coming through here. I'm here to serve the divine. We're here to serve the divine. Okay, we're here to serve the divine. We're here to we have a we we have a duty. So it's we're we're here to connect and be in love, but we also have a duty. Like I was saying, like you guys are coming together for a reason. Well, like they were saying, but they talking through me. You guys are coming together for a reason. Okay. So they're being guided. They're making the steps. Um, they're taking the steps, excuse me, um, to be great love is worth taking the steps. I'm sorry, I'm getting mixed up with my words that you're guided to take. Yeah, so they're taking the steps. They're being guided to take for this love, okay? So the door of romance is opening up. So they're saying, you know, when we get together, it's going to be a lot of romance. Um, that door is opening, open. So that's a spiritual door that's open for this romance, okay? So it's up to you to step through it, but you're gonna have to step through it regardless of you have stepping through the door to romance, okay? They're stepping to, uh, through it. Take into account any numbers you may see. Now, somebody can be in their 30s or you may meet this person when you're in your 30s. Now, I'm not saying if you're not in your 30s, you ain't gonna never meet them. I'm just saying that's for some of y'all. Yeah, it's, it seems like you guys are going to like have a community together. Like there's going to be people who listen to what y'all got to say. That's something that's coming through him. Or you will build like a community, a successful community together is what's coming through here. Like they're saying we're going to build a successful union, a successful union together. Yeah, <laughs> they're saying we're going to build a successful union together, but we're going to build a successful community together as well. And then we have efforts to, uh, great love is worth, like, put, like, effort twice. Like, they're going to put in the effort in this connection, okay? See how it's still synchronized? One of their 
goals is to be with you in this lifetime. Okay, that's that's what I'm saying. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. So one of their efforts is, you know, being with you, which is why they're going to step through the door in romance. That's what they're saying. They're going to take in these moments and, and do everything they have to do within this moment to be with you because they do feel hopeless without you. Your souls are longing for each other, you know. So maybe you get a lot of messages through music, like that's me. If you if you've been hearing a specific song and it's maybe it's a specific uh, part in that song, and you keep constantly hearing a, a song is stuck in your head, or you heard it and like as you were waking up from a dream or in your dream, like randomly, maybe it was a song you didn't hear in a long time. They like that's me. You gotta be listening to it. Are you listening to my messages? Are you listening to my telepathic communication? You know, I'm sending you some messages here. I want you to take. Take that in. See, I feel hopeless without you. And no matter who I'm with, whether I'm with somebody in this moment or whether I was with people in the past, they could never be you. I'm never satisfied with no matter who I'm with because it's not you. My soul knows that. It's not you. So they want you to come to them. Um, and they want you to make them feel good. But they're like, I want to make you feel good as well. I want to expand together. I want to be in the moment with you right now. We have the king of pentacles. See, like I said, for a lot of groups, it's been different from each for each group. But the but the uh, it doesn't have to be a man; it could be a woman as well. But these um, these divine uh, counterparts are, you know, your future spouse slash partners are, you know, very much getting themselves together when it comes to uh, finances. Okay, they like I have the Midas touch, and I will make you feel good. With <laughs> now, that could be a. a a uh, 18 and plus message right there especially since we have self pleasure and then they say come here baby let me make you feel good like they're saying i'm these hands are gonna make you feel see look at this mark a lot on my finger that's from them cards now i've been re wrote this down but it's like the mark a lot still come every time i use these cards it's how my hands end up you see that <laughs> um okay so maybe this person is willing to get their hands dirty like i'm willing to put in the effort get my hands dirty um is what's coming through that they get their hands dirty by making that effort and like I'm getting my hands dirty, I'm doing this. And I'm hearing like something about getting your feet wet in something as well. But yeah, like I said, this person is saying I got the Midas touch. And of course I'm talking about my like they got the Midas touch. So they're gonna make you feel good. They want to explore your body. Um I'm going to make my hands dirty by making you feel good, if you know what that means, okay? And then I say something about wet. But I'm just saying, like, that's a message coming through here, okay? Um, so they were like, I'm going to be your little servant, okay? <laughs> Especially, like, when behind closed doors. And that's why I do a romance. It's kind of, like, sensual coming through here, like. But let me get off of that. But, yeah, the king of uh, pentacles are earth. Yeah, I'm going to make sure, you know, everything between us and our life turns out beautifully. I'm going to be a supportive spouse. Yeah, I'm going to be a supportive spouse and a supportive uh, parent as well. So maybe you guys will have kids. For some of you, if you do have want to have kids, because you see two children here and a child here. So that's only for those of you who want kids. If you don't resonate with that message, it is a general reading. So, you know. They're saying, I'm going to try to be the best husband or wife I can be and the best parent that I can be, whether you have them physically or you adopt or whatever the case may be, okay? If you have a goal that you want to achieve in life, your future spouse is saying, you know, and keep increasing those efforts. You're doing the best that you can. If you haven't gotten to that particular place you want when it comes to that goal, that's okay. You know, you're going to get there. Just take it one step at a time. You know, I know you want it in this moment, your future spouse slash partner is saying, but you go, it's only going to come when the time is right. Uh -huh. And you, whatever it is you're doing, your future spouse wants you to know is that I know because I'm really connected to spirit that you are serving the divine. They're saying you're doing a good job. We're going to sit on a um, beautiful throne together. Yeah, they are very hardworking. They're like, I put in my effort in everything that I do. So I'm working really hard right now, and I'm doing what I can do in order to, like, succeed. You know, they may, like, do a lot of self-pleasure. They're like, I'm going to bring pleasures into your life. Um, you're going to feel good. 
you know, I know you taste good if you know what that means. I'm gonna, they love kissing and like tasting your lips. They're gonna love, I'm hearing they love like as if they did it. Uh, is a, So maybe there's a 5D connection here and they have like kiss and taste your lips or like in a dream state. But yeah, they want to explore your body. They, they may self-pleasure imagining you guys together, even though, you know, it doesn't have a face. It's th it's like they can't explain it. They're self-pleasuring themselves thinking about you. It's like they don't have a particular specific way that you look. But for some reason, they're like, I can only like, when, when I'm like, um, when they masturbate or whatever, they can only think of you. That's the only thing that's going to make them like relieve themselves. They can't watch like you know, porn or, you know, I got to watch what I say for this video get demonetized. <laughs> they have specific words you two be blocking out. Um, like, or they can't just go, when they, if they do, like, sleep with other people or, like, you know, have sex with other people, it's not, the, it's like, it, they don't get really, they feel dirty afterwards or they feel bad because it's not you or they feel guilty or something like that. Uh, they feel like the energy is being taken away from them instead of them being like the energy has been put into them. They never going to have that ple pleasure unless you want you guys connect because again, the type of union that this is. And they like, I'm not trying to like make you feel good by saying this. Um, even though I know you're feeling good by saying it, this is literally, this is the reality of the situation. Like I cannot like please, like get pleased if it's with uh, other people, and it or like if I try to watch something and try to relieve myself, it's not working. <laughs> but that's what they saying, and that's the God honest truth. That's what they're saying. Okay. Um, they can be religious since I said that as well. I hate to say religious after I just finished <laughs> talking about that type of stuff, but yeah. Um. Yeah, they feel hopeless without you again. Because nobody could ever be you. That's why. So it's it's almost like this emp emptiness they have as well. Sometimes, you know, they fade into this emptiness. And they understand what it is. They like, you know, they can have that energy of like something is missing and that something is you. But yeah, there's going to be a lot of sensual things going on with y'all. A lot of romance, which is going to expand. Like when you guys go to like connect and you know you know do the little sex thing your energy is going to continue to expand like um kundalini okay if i'm pronouncing that right that is you guys can manifest in that type of way and when you guys come together you know um you ain't gonna better stop keep keep your hands off each other i'm just saying okay. that's what they saying okay I'm going to get this a shake. I'm going to get you a few numbers and some letters. The master number 33 here, so confirm. This may be loud, y'all. I'm sorry. So I'm not going to be, like, spelling too much out. I will spell some stuff, but it's more about intuitive messages. You can spell whatever you would like to, okay? You may, you know, see certain messages in here for you. Um... You know, maybe your name will be in here. Maybe it's a specific person and all of this in a, um, stuff resonates with that person. But, yeah. You know, let's see. Let's see. I'm hearing you're flawless. Gorgeous. I want you to know you're flawless. You're gorgeous. These numbers can have a meaning. These can be uh, dates or months of significant houses. The seventh house. Yeah, confirming this relationship. This your marriage. Commitment. You're going to be best friends and lovers. That's what I'm hearing. This can be the second house and the sixth house. This will be a healthy union. So your homework is to look into the... Um, Seventh, second, and sixth house. I like to give homework. Um, so you can take that down. I'll remember this. I'll come back to get some information now. Mm, tie. You guys are tied together. Um.
Yeah, they like this is genuinely a good person, and and you know that uh, this person is saying that good people, you know, just because you're a good person, they don't mean, um, you know, good things gonna happen to you, and that's that's the hard truth that they learned. Like I've been good, but you know, it's been a struggle. It was a struggle for me. Okay, spirit will steal you in my direction. That's what they're saying. Uh. I feel like I want to talk different, so maybe this person will have an accent when you guys, um, like you two, will, well, both of you will have an accent to each other, but there's something here about an accent. Because I feel like my voice changing a little bit, even though it might not sound like that to y'all, but I'm hearing here, um, I'm hearing with clear audience, okay? So it's not, not like physically, but spiritually, like I'm hearing my voice change. I'm hearing this ain't it. Like what you've been through is not it. So you're. It, it. I'm hearing your life is gonna is gonna change. This is love of a lifetime. Maybe the content like Europe is important, but that's only for a few of y'all. Paint. Don't try to paint a picture of this union. Unite. I'm saying unite. This cup, this person loves to wear the color white. He's like, some people hate wearing white or like have a fear of wearing white or he or she, but they're saying, I, li I like to wear white. I wear a lot of white. I don't know. That's just confirmation for something. Or like, <laughs> you may find this out. Tube. YouTube, too. Maybe that's significant. YouTube is significant. You know, maybe you, um, I don't know, be looking at YouTube about something or like about relationships and unions, spiritual unions. Gore. They may like horror movies and like gore and stuff like that. There may be some things like they saying, I love to watch horror, so you better, you know, if you don't like to watch horror movies, you talking about something, you scared, I'm gonna hold you. Another thing you need to look into is the bear spirit. So they may have bear energy. So guess that's a part of your homework as well. Maybe somebody also paints, since I said something about paint. Robe. Yeah, they're gonna, I'm going to take off that robe. Yeah, they're going to want to see what's under your robe. Okay. I'm hearing Mr. and Mrs. or Mr. and Mr. Mrs. and Mrs. It depends on what you resonate with. ER, the ER can be important. Maybe there's somebody who's a doctor or in the medical field. Um, they actually, somebody is actually confirming that they like when I say that. Yes. I'm here reunited and it feels so good. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. I know I can't sing, but <laughs> that's what's coming through here. <sighs> there's been times where the future spouse said, There's been times where I did the best I could and it still wasn't good enough. So you need you must understand that. You that's something they want you to understand. Even though you do your best, sometimes it's not gonna be good enough for others. Um, you know, there's been times where they didn't feel good enough. You feel like that, they feel like that at some point in their life. They Somebody can be from, like, Louisiana, because I'm thinking about EBR. So it's making me think about, like, a parish that's in, in um, um, a certain parish that's in uh, Louisiana. So maybe that is significant. Maybe somebody is from there. I don't know that specifically came through. Um, somebody, there could be like a connection to a boat or something like that. Like maybe like work on a boat or like, like to be on a boat. I'm hearing embrace, embrace yourself. And then I'm also hearing express yourself. I'm hearing that song, but I'm also hearing embrace yourself. Also, we will be in embrace. I will embrace you. 
as well. You can see on here, this energy is like this child is embracing the other child. Yeah, like I sometimes I feel this emptiness when it comes to you is what your future spouse is saying. But, you know, um, I know I, I can't lie in that energy forever. So I feel the emptiness. I let it pass. And then I try to come, bring myself back into this moment. And so that's something they want you to do as well. You you may see other words here. I'm not really trying to spell them because I see other words here as well. But I'm not really trying to spell much. Um, yeah, you ignite a fire inside them as well. That's something that I'm hearing. I'm hearing something about temptation, but that's all I have for everybody who selected group three. Thank you guys for watching. If you did, in fact, enjoy the reading, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That would be very much appreciated. If you'd like a private reading from me, my email is down in the description. Um... If you would like to select another group, you can. If this didn't resonate or you just want to pick a different group, that's fine, too. Um, if I didn't thank y'all for watching, thank you again. Again, it's this constant thing of me wanting to thank y'all constantly. So, again, they thanking you for waiting for them. They're thanking you for um, doing whatever you're doing. Is you're, you're, doing, you're serving your purpose. You're doing well. You're doing the best that you can. Okay, even though sometimes it may not feel enough, all right? But again, I'm going to head out, y'all. Hopefully, you guys come for another one. Bye-bye, beautiful people. Mwah.